Who does not like cuddles? I assure you, your car likes them a lot too. But one needs to know how to do it, especially a real motor maniac. While if I say car detailing, you should immediately know what I'm talking about. Therefore, I'm sure you'll appreciate this video series because we're going to show you how to bring back your beloved automobile to its original glory. Nowadays, we hear such expressions by anyone who brags about his special attention given to the wash. But you'll see in this laboratory that car detailing is so much more. This here is an accurate reconditioning of the car that can enhance all that glow that your car can still show without having to repaint or replace anything. Talking about aesthetics, it stays halfway between a thorough cleaning and a complete body repainting, always keeping an eye on the budget, a concern that should never be underestimated. The procedure is always the same. First you have to empty the piggy bank, then find a new excuse to justify the nth car purchase to the family. It's a good investment, or it won't take any garage space. But after the decision is made, one must protect their investment in a way that makes sense financially while protecting the integrity of the vehicle. The problem is that you're like me and well after you put it in the garage you want to make it beautiful immediately. The truth is that all cars are worthy of receiving the aesthetic care of a detailer. Whether it's a small car or a supercar, a classic car or a modern car. The important thing is that you think it's worth it. And in my opinion, an Alfa Romeo Spider, an Alfa like this, is more than worthy. And if you still have any doubt, well at the end of the day, when we're finished with her, tonight, well, you'll have changed your mind. We know that every car has a history of its own, but when it comes to these bichone of the past, the desire to make them shine is uncontrollable. So when the owner of this Alfa Romeo showed it to me, well, I had no doubts. As you know, there are various schools of thought. My opinion is that it's always better to conserve the car when possible, and a rare example of a 2-liter Spider without catalytic converter and with 49,000 kilometers is a perfect example for our purpose, which is to prove that the right products, passion, and professionalism can make the Spider come back exactly to the day it exited the dealer on June 27, 1991. To complete this time travel, however, a roadmap has to be respected, divided into different phases that we will now analyze one by one. The first phase begins with washing, that is the elimination of all the dirt accumulated while circulating on the street. The washing is divided into three phases, the pre-wash, the actual washing that will be done with two gloves and two buckets, and the drying. Each detailing phase must be carried out meticulously, including the washing, which ensures a better preparation for the next steps. Washing will get rid of coarse dirt such as flies, mud and tar. This job must be done very carefully because the cleaner the car, the faster the next work steps. Did you know that those who live near a railway or in a city area where trams circulate will sooner or later find their car's coat full of spots? Those spots make the surface rough to the touch. This phenomenon is called iron fallout contamination and comes from iron oxide binding to the bodywork. A shampoo is not enough here. We must act with a specific decontamination product. This classic purple color that comes out makes us understand that the active ingredient is working perfectly.
Now we can rinse. As Fabio emphasizes, it's essential to use two buckets and two gloves when washing in order not to contaminate the clean water and dirtying the car again, or even worse, scratching it with residual impurities on the microfiber cloth. Once this is done, let's move to the elimination of lime scale from the chrome and to the cleaning of the muffler. Car detailing has a specific product for every problem and material. The first part of outside washing comes to an end with drying. Fabio uses a specific, very high absorbent and very soft microfiber cloth. This cloth is better than the old deerskin because it captures dirt and doesn't accidentally drag it on the body, preventing possible damage. Something is already changing. Let's now move into the operating room where all of the impurities are highlighted and the search for the smallest defects begin. The most hidden ones, as you can see here, are better identified in a well-lit and clean working environment. It seems like we're almost done, but no, we're just at the beginning. After all, the owner delivered this car to us just as he has kept it over the years. Therefore, I doubt that this spider has been in a body shop very often. In fact, the red already stands out much more after a careful wash. Furthermore, the imperfections invisible at first sight belong to the know-how of these aesthetic surgeons, specialists who know where to intervene using the right tools. Mechanical decontamination. This is the name of the process Fabio is busy with right now. Removing the dirt that was not taken out with the wash just done a while ago. Passing the hand on the body is enough to understand that some impurities are actually still there. One can immediately feel some rough parts by touch. It is precisely there that one intervenes with an instrument called a clay bar, i.e. a clay rod that works in conjunction with a lubricant. Lubricant is sprayed on the surface of the body and on the clay bar itself, which is applied with linear and then crossed movements, which collect the iron residues, not to mention resin or tar fallen out from the streets. All these contaminants have been a little too fond of our spider. Try to call it just a wash, if you dare. Many of you and me too would be somewhat already satisfied, yet I guarantee that the best is still to come through the next steps on the interior and the engine bay, i.e. the mechanics. I'm very curious and I hope you are too.